So yeah, let's let's start. Um, as I told you, um, this presentation will be about speed launching info products, and um, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about my own website sportstarter.de. But uh, don't worry, I try to keep it as uh, interesting as possible for you. And uh, I'm going to show you how especially you as well can make a living online in less than four months, um, just like I did. It yeah, grew pretty fast and I'm going to show you some uh, main principles and uh, some techniques that most of, of the people are maybe doing wrong and maybe I did better, I don't know. Um, you will know that after my short presentation. So, um, yeah, right now you really need to listen carefully, carefully if um, you as well, you want to work on something you really love so that actually work doesn't feel as work so that you don't go to work and actually do, you don't want to do uh, what you're going to. Um, if you want to make a living online after four months as well, just uh, like I did before, um, if you want to have the opportunity to yeah, get rich, very rich, and uh, maybe even very, very rich, that also is sometimes a motivation. Um, also listen if you're ready to work for a short period of time and uh, then never need to take a 9 to 5 uh, employee job again. And um, yeah, never need to think about money again in your whole life. Also, listen carefully if you want to have an impact on a lot of people and uh, help them and with their problems uh, in their life. Um, also, if you want to turn your knowledge that is already in your head into money, because I know that yeah, every one of you has some topics where you're very, very good at uh, something and you can yeah, teach me something and teach everybody else something. It will be very valuable to everyone and yeah, make this into money. Also, if you want to have the possibility to almost automate your business so that you can keep it running with just a few hours per month, just like the four-hour four hour work week, for example. Um, and also, if you want to have lots of time and money so that you can yeah, enjoy the, the real things in life, like traveling around, doing sports, meeting friends, go partying, or whatever you uh, yeah, want to do in your life. So um, I hope uh, I got your attention a little bit. Um, who am I? I'm, I'm Ole. I'm 22 years old. Um, I'm studying uh, computational engineering science at the Technical University here in Berlin. That's a mixture of mechanical engineering and uh, computing. I will finish my bachelor degree in, in April this year. Um, that, but that's just, uh, for me, it's just formal to have this damn bachelor degree in my pocket. And after this, I will totally focus on uh, yeah, my Sportstarter.de business. Um, I started working on some ideas online uh, three years ago, actually. And um, in the meantime, I yeah, failed a lot of times. I had several ideas, tried something very hard and failed and then tried another thing and failed again. And uh, then I registered the domain name Sportstarter.de actually end of April in 2014. And um, again, I, I failed with my initial idea. Um, yeah, I <laughs> tried something, didn't work. And then actually, uh, since August last year, um, I started with my today's weight loss coaching uh, program where I help women, as I said, in the age of uh, yeah, 30 to 50. And um, yeah, since November last year, I can live from it totally, like pay my few bills and uh, etc. And that's like the four months in August, September, October, November. And um, yeah, I will show you what I did. And uh, even more, um, how you as well can do what I did, because I don't think that I'm a very special person. I just did uh, a few principles, as I said, maybe better than, than others. Um, how you can make a living online from the knowledge that, as I said, is already in your brain in just four months. So we're right now in January, end of January. So let's say February, March, 
April, May, end of May, like everybody could do, um, yeah, his uh, his living from uh, from their business online. So, um, yeah, actually, I think there are four levels of internet marketing right now, in my opinion, and um, I will tell you the four levels, and you can see if maybe you're running already a business or you're planning a business in which of these levels you think you are. And um, let's uh, start with the first level. First level, I think, are people who have a crappy looking website and just hope for some customers. Uh, in most cases, these are some people who are already happy to have something up there who are online right now and because there are so many people out there, there will maybe come some people to their website and maybe they will buy some stuff from them and yeah, that's level one. Then we have uh, level two. Um, in my opinion, level two are people who yeah, have a good looking website, maybe also a very good looking website and uh, they provide some value to people so they help them with their problems in, in their lives uh, with let's say some Facebook posts or some blog posts and then they also have some products um, that's maybe an ebook or a coaching program or a seminar or whatever and they sell it via, via their, their blog. So um, in most cases, th these type of people, um, they make some money and um, it takes them some time. It, it grows, yeah, maybe slowly. And um, yeah, they, they, they start to make some money. Then we have level three. Um, level three are people who know that email is a great marketing feature, um, but they are not enough provi providing value to their prospects and um, they are doing what I call um, buy my stuff marketing. I will come to this uh, later on and tell you what this is, but keep in mind like level three are people who know that email is a nice, nice thing, um, but they are abusing email, just sending you lots of uh, buy my stuff messages. And um, level four, um, are, in my opinion, people who use email, um, provide lots of value uh, with a good follow-up sequence to help solving the prospect's problems. So they help them with their problems first and then, and then, and just then, they are selling their product. So when you look at these people's websites, um, in most cases, you don't know that these people are making money or making much money. And because um, first of all, you come to these people's websites and these people are first helping you. They help you with your personal problems. And then, and first when you're convinced that that's great, then they will sell you something. And actually that's the type of level in internet marketing where you want to be, because that's the way where it grows the fastest where people are making the most money in the shortest period of time, where it's the most, with the least technical stuff uh, to manage, etc. So, yeah, that's uh, level four. Um, then, um, as I said, um, selling via a blog, there was in, in my levels, there was level two. And just a few words why you never, never, never should sell via a blog and yeah, use email instead. So um, first of all, when you open up a new blog, first you're writing articles, like 30, 40, 50 articles, just to fill up these bl in this blog. Because um, otherwise, the blog is just empty and people think that you just started and uh, it's not good enough or whatever. Um, and then um, people have no relationship with you unless you are Microsoft, Google or Amazon or something, uh, yeah, someone very big. Um, for example, take me, I, I'm, I know that nobody of you heard of Sportschatter.de before if you're not very close friends with me. And um, when you come to my website, you don't know who I am and you have no trust in me and I'm also in this weight loss niche where I'll 
like many scammers and people, German people especially, when they come to a website, they think, okay, this guy just wants my money and he's a scammer and that's the, that's the image German people have first when they come to a new website that they don't know. Even uh, especially when there's a, just a 22 years old guy who wants to sell them something. So uh, when I want to sell something to people, I need their trust. Uh, people, uh, I need this relationship and people need to know that I'm doing something good for you. And um, if I just have the blog, people are just comparing me over the price. Um, they're looking, oh, okay, that's a coaching program in there. How much is it? Oh, 100 euro, oh, no, that, that's too much. Okay, and they, they're gone, they're, they're gone away. So um, just imagine if um, you right now, you could tie me up on a chair just right there for 30 minutes and um, then the ones of you who have a product, you're allowed to talk to me 30 minutes why your product is awesome and great and why especially it's great for me and why I should buy your product for 30 minutes and I cannot run away because I'm tied up on this chair. Would you think that um, this would I increase the chances that uh, yeah, I will buy your product? Sure, of course. But um, the problem is we are now online and we don't have the opportunity to tie people up on a chair for 30 minutes. Um, so people are on your website for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. They read, they skim, okay, they say, oh, what is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's a golf course. How much is it? 100 euro, it's way too much. And they don't have your plédoyer, plédoyer for uh, these 30 minutes. And, um, but they need it. They need this to, to buy your stuff, to, to convince um, them that your stuff is awesome and um, that's a good thing where you can use email instead because via email <laughs> you're not selling something at the first point you're first um, helping the people because um, you are there to help the people also with your product and um, with email you can build that trust that is um, essentially for selling them things and especially selling them high-priced things. I'm not talking about a $7 ebook or something. Mm, I'm talking about like some things that are 100 euro, 200 euro, 1000 euro or, or something, something um, expensive. And uh, there you absolutely need this trust and the personal relationship via email. One last um, advantage of email is the one-time work you got. If you got a blog, you continue, continue, continually um, have to write new blog posts because if for half a year there's just this one blog post at the top, people will think that you fell asleep or you don't want to do this anymore. And um, the advantage with email is you just once set up your autoresponder sequence and uh, every new prospect that um, subscribes for your email newsletter will get this cool stuff that you once created, but just once. So you just got this one-time work. And um, now one other big thing that um, you should know, um, don't do what I call buy my stuff marketing, because that's what everyone else does. And um, that's why most people don't sell as much as they could. It's um, what, what is everyone else doing? They, are, um, they, they bump, actually they bump their prospect with some sales messages. Um, I guess you know them, it's like 30% off if you're buying today and then you got this other email with buy three, get two and uh, I have a great bonus for you but you need to join today, just buy my stuff. And people are just sending you messages, hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, and actually, did you get my stuff? And here's my stuff, and buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. So um, this works, this works, and people will click on it, and if they think that's a great offer, they will, they will buy from you, that, that's, that's for sure. But um, you can do it in a smarter way, because what you want to do is, in the very first way, you want to find out exactly, exactly what your prospect's problem is. Um, then you want to help them with exact their problem um, and show them what it's like 
to work with you. So you actually give them a preview what it's like to work with you. And you can um, do this, as I, as I, as I said, with, the, with your automated um, follow-up sequence. So uh, once you um, search for the problems, what the people got, and in the second step, you create this um, autoresponder sequence, what is great content for your prospect's problems. And then you can yeah, build this relationship and this trust with these people. Um, you write with them via mail and you don't sell anything at this point. Because um, just then, when people understand that you're a cool guy or um, a cool, cool girl, and um, that you're awesome and that you are helping them because they already got some results from um, the free content that um, you got them then and just then you're allowed to sell them something and um, yeah and that's a great thing what works so um, I know there's not much time left so just uh, at the end a very short quick start guide how you could proceed if uh, you wanted to start um, like a yeah, info, info product business as well. So in the first point, you need to uh, find out your best niche where you have a lot of knowledge. So uh, as I said at the beginning, every one of you has a, has a topic where you're very good at it. So that's a good point to start it. Then second, search for some Facebook groups that talk about your problems. There are like so many Facebook groups um, in there where already people are um, yeah, gathered together um, that uh, can be your prospect. So you note down um, these groups. Third one, you go to surveymonkey.com, for example, and create a free survey um, to find out what exactly your target group really wants and what their biggest obstacles are. So you ask them exactly what are your obstacles and what, what, what is it uh, what you want. And don't underestimate this point. I did it at the beginning as well. You think, ah, I know what they want. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> there are always points where you didn't think of. So um, yeah, that's the, the third point. Then fourth, you create a new Facebook group where you will help these people with their problems and start to build trust. As I said, don't sell them anything. Just gather some people together in a Facebook group that's like very easy and just give them content and help them. And then five, you pull them over into an email list. And um, six, you launch your product to exactly these people by building trust and this relationship and then yeah, have success, be happy and so on. And uh, yeah, I know, uh, unfortunately, time is very short. And there are like, lots of more questions like, how do you get these people in, the, in your Facebook group? What content should you give for free? What should you say for your products? How do you get your Facebook group into your email list? What do you need to know when building your email sales funnel? What do you actually, how do you actually make the sale, and et cetera? Um, I know that's too short, but if you yeah, want to talk more with me, just uh, drop me a short message at ole at sportstarter.de and yeah, then uh, we can talk a little bit more. And um, that's it actually. If you got some questions, you can yeah, do them now. So now we'll have five minutes for Q&A. Um, if you don't mind, Ole, I would like to kind of kick off and ask the first question. Can you talk about how you did this, how you ran through that process with your own business? Um, yes, sure. I actually did it exactly like this. In the first point, I found out what my people wanted. I went uh, to some Facebook groups, in my case, some weight loss Facebook groups. I put in my survey, my survey link. People responded to my survey, so I had like 100 responses. Uh, I asked them, what are your biggest obstacles? Like, what do you really want? Like, why are, why are you at this point where you are? So I found out like lots of information. Then in the second step, um, I built my, I created my own Facebook group, as I said, and uh, I pulled some people in there. And um, hmm? uh, at the very first start, it was uh, 100 people. And uh, yeah, then I actually at this point, I even didn't had 
uh, my product. Uh, I didn't have my, uh, my co coaching program and so on. And I developed it with them. I always asked them, what do you want? What do you need more? What would be awesome for you? And in this process, I developed the pro program with them together. And then, yeah, I launched my final product to these people again, because I knew it was exactly what they wanted. I just need to, uh, to tell them, yeah, give me a bit of money for them, and sure, they will give it to me. Yeah. yeah. Now, after that uh, first iteration, like how do you scale the product right now? Um, more people to your side and into the email and so on? Um, yeah. So uh, I, I scaled it slowly. So um, first I did bigger Facebook groups, and yeah, in, in one launch there were like uh, 1,500 people in the Facebook group. So there was uh, like a lot of effort to answer to all these people. I got like 300 mails and more in my in my email inbo inbox, um, and. Um, yeah, now I have some, some more people who help me to comment in this Facebook group. And yeah, I'm just doing different uh, Facebook groups. And yeah. Sure. Why did you choose sports? Did, did you already know a little about it? Uh, did you find out while you were um, yeah, sports? Yeah, yeah. yeah s sports, that's uh, my topic, actually. I'm. Um, if, if I could think of two things where uh, you could wake me up at three in the night and I start talking for half an hour without preparing anything, that's uh, sports, sports motivational and nutrition stuff and, uh, and marketing <laughs> right now. Yeah? Um, how, much did you, how much was your first offer, your first program? Uh, it was 97 euro. Yeah. So, so how does the transition work from having the free stuff to the paid content to, to the paid program? That's pretty easy actually, because um, as I said, when you build this trust and uh, you have these people and you, you are actually there for them, they can write you messages and you answer on their mails and etc. Um, actually, you don't have to do uh, much things, just put out a great offer for them. Um, but the essential thing is to build this, that trust and the relationship. The sales process at the end, sure, there are like million ways of optimizing it. Um, and yeah, I cannot answer this in like two sentences, but the essential thing is the trust and the re relationship, yeah. Uh, yeah, next Tim, yeah. But maybe if, they, if you supported them already and put in effort, then they maybe feel bad and, and that also for that reason, like Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's awesome. That, that's uh, kind of re reciprocity. That's always, I, I help you, you will help me. That's, uh, yeah, that, that's the reason, yeah. Over there? Uh, how do you get the people onto your Facebook group? Is it uh, ads or just uh, hustle? Um, yeah, so at the beginning, it's, um, it's just. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> a little bit spamming in other Facebook groups, just saying to them, hey, I got something for free to you, uh, for you, I just help you with your problems, and then people will come to you. And uh, then if it grows further, yeah, sure, it's ads as well, yeah. Yeah? Um, could you tell what your free product is and your paid product, and where's the difference between both are? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, my free product is a 14-day fat-burning crash course. Um, <laughs> sounds awesome. And um, <laughs> um, it's, it's just it's, uh, 10 workout videos. It's my internal Facebook group where you get like, uh, uh, it's my 14-day uh, mail sequence where you learn a lot of motivation, sports, and nutrition. And then my paid program is a 16-day intensive coaching program. And um, where you get, got like lots more. Yeah, actually, actually, it's the 14-day program over a period of two months, but just with uh, a little bit more. And also videos and yeah, yeah, membership area and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have some specific numbers like uh, your conversions, for instance, or how long is your auto reach for the sequence? 
uh, when do you start selling and when do people actually convert into like buying the product and what is like pre-sale? Oh, yeah, there are like uh, lo 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 lots of numbers. Um, if, if you want, uh, want to know some specific, just, just ask me afterwards. Uh, I don't know, it's like maybe a bit too much if I say everything from the beginning to the end, but just come to me afterwards, yeah. Yeah? Uh, not much. So I had one video editor who made some nice videos for me. That was like, I think, 1,000 euro. But then um, I, I could have done it by myself if I would have had uh, more time. But then, yeah, I pay 80 euro per month for my autoresponder. That's a very good one. Um, click tip. And uh, yeah, actually, that's it. No, no costs at all. <laughs> One last question. One last question, yeah. Yeah, uh, over there. Question, uh, do you sell only in Germany or in Switzerland and Austria as well? Uh, yeah, every German-speaking country. So. And, and I noticed that you have like, because you know the EU made like a really stupid law now. <laughs> that. How does it affect your business? Because it's really... Um, it, you mean with the, with the law stuff? Well, you, you know, like in the past, you only had to pay like VAT in the, yeah. in the country where you sold from, and now you have to get it from every single Yeah, th there I have my, um, I, don't, I don't know what it's in English, Bezahlanbieter, it's in German, that's uh, Digistore24, tw Digistore24. It's a, it's a company uh, that is actually doing the sale for you. And uh, yeah, they do all, all the transaction process and you get paid by them. So actually, I don't uh, mind of all these. You only use like third party uh, vendors, you don't sell directly. Yeah, it, it, th you're not buying from me, you're buying from them and they will pay me. So that's uh, in transition, yeah. All right, another round of applause for Ole. Thank you so much. Thank you.